Welcome back, everyone. Uh, today I have a very easy, inexpensive, and fast fall project for you to try. I found these great string lights with pine cones and leaves with holly berries, um, pretty fall color leaves with holly berries on them. And I also grabbed a cinnamon broom while I was up at the dollar store. I get these every year as soon as they put them out. I love the cinnamon brooms. And um, once they are used up, I put them into a vase as a decorative filling. Um, I'm also going to use some of my leftover artificial flowers from a previous project to go along with this one today just because I thought they would be pretty with the pine cones and the fall leaf colors. So for now I'm going to go ahead and start getting these string lights untwisted. Um, this project is so quick and easy. I know you're going to love it and even a beginner crafter can put this together. It's just really fast and simple for anyone. Gotta get this knot undone. Okay, those pine cones didn't want to let go, but I got them at undone. And for the attachment, there's a little loop at the top of the broom, as well as each of the string lights. So I'm going to line the string light up with that loop on the broom so that we can use all of these loops to hang this up when we're finished and it will help to keep everything in place as well. And really, um, we are just going to uh, twist this string light around the handle of the broom. And what I'm doing is I'm um, placing it so that the uh, power pack will be held on by the string lights once it's finished. So I'm keeping that wire underneath the twisted wire for the pine cone string lights here as I'm going along. Now once I get to the bottom of the broom handle here, I'm just going to arrange the pine cones in a pretty way around the broom portion of uh, the broom. And then I'm just going to tuck the end of the string lights into uh, the broom itself to hide the end. And now we are going to attach these pretty fall colored leaves with holly berries on them uh, to the broom in the same way. We just have to get them untangled here. Okay, I have them undone and I'm just going to line this loop up again with the loops on the broom and the um, previous string lights from the pine cones that we did. Now you want to make sure that your power boxes are not going to overlap each other on the back of the broom because you don't want it to be too bulky. So you just want to pay attention while you're wrapping this to um, that little power box so that you have them both placed that in a way that they are up above and below each other and not right next to each other. It makes it easier to hide them later when we are finished. Once you get that all wrapped around the top part of the broom, we're just going to arrange them again on the bottom part of the broom 
with the pine cones to look pretty. And then we're gonna just take the end of this wire and we're gonna tuck it right into the side of the broom so that it is hidden. And now I'm going to use these um, artificial flowers that I have left over and I'm just pulling them out of the original stick stem that was holding them and just using the individual flower stem pieces and I'm just going to tuck these into our broom and arrange them to look pretty. I had just enough of these left over for this project and they just add a little extra touch of color and I really like the way that uh, they fit into this little craft project. look at how pretty that is and for the next part I'm going to use the greenery the uh, leftover eucalyptus that I have and I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the little white flowers just pull out piece by piece and insert them into the broom where I think that they will look pretty and add a nice accent This is uh, kind of like making a flower arrangement, you know. We're just going to do it on a broom. I'm just going to arrange these so that they look nice and stay where I want them. And for the next part, I'm going to insert the AA batteries into the power packs. Each power pack takes two AA batteries. And they last a long time. You don't have to replace them very often. These little LED lights don't really use a lot of power. And you don't really keep it turned on all the time either. For the next step, now that this part is finished, we can go ahead and use some wire uh, to wire these boxes onto the handle of the broom. I'm just going to use some floral wire for that. And we are finished. This is the final look with um, daylight. And it looks really pretty. I am really happy with the outcome. I am reusing some signs from last season that I found at Walmart and they go perfectly with this fall look. This next clip is uh, how it looks after dark. The entryway smells wonderful and it is well lit this makes for a nice little night light as well if you'd like to use it as that uh, but it smells wonderful and it looks great thank you for joining me today 
I hope that you liked this project and will give it a try. See you on the next one.